So these buttons were created entirely inside of Adobe Muse and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So the first thing you need to do is uh, drag in your empty composition and basically this is a composition that is completely empty, it's stripped of everything, it has no strokes, no fills, no nothing. So it's completely empty. The second thing you want to do is edit the options and the options are position is on stacked, uh, show target on rollover, Transition has to be either on horizontal or vertical. Let's just put it on horizontal. Uh, the speed, it, it depends on your preference. Point 0.2 is perfect, I think. Triggers on top, that is very important. And uncheck hide all initially. And those are the options. As you can see, we have a target window and a trigger window. Now, uh, let's place the target window somewhere we can remember it and create another trigger window so we have two triggers and select the first trigger and while the first trigger is selected select the target window and basically this way the first first one is selected right so let's make this a little bigger basically this is your button and add the fill to it and now i'm going to add the text to it let's just say something like press me and let's make it a little bigger 24 that's all right and place it inside the true target window mm, just uh, place it in the center like that and copy it now select the second trigger and select the target change its color to a different color or you can put the same color if you want but put something else then maybe an icon or different text and paste it in place now we have our two triggers and our two targets basically so uh you need to you need to take the second trigger window and place it exactly on top of your button like this and basically what this will do is when you roll over the mouse it's going to transition to the red color but when you roll your mouse out it will remain the same so you need to fix that so this is where this trigger comes in so this is what you do this is this is the hack this is the trick just place it on top of everything like this and basically this is uh below the first trigger so what happens is when you roll the mouse out it's going to transition back so let's preview it whoop, 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 whoop. as you can see it works perfectly now you might ask me okay that's really cool but how do i make it rotate uh how do i make it transition from the left instead of the right and I'm just gonna copy it and paste it and as you can see you cannot rotate it basically what you want to do is just rotate it and I'm gonna show you a nifty trick I discovered basically what you want to do is drag in the empty, your empty state button and place everything inside of it and now you can rotate it Get that, bam. From the right, from the left. Yeah, you need to delete the text and replace it, but you get the idea. And basically that goes also for vertical. From the bottom, from the top. Simple as that. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. There's also a giveaway going on. You can win an entire button pack for Adobe Muse. Just check out the link in the description below. Also, please subscribe, comment, like, or do all of those three if you want more. And I hope to see you next time.